For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. The western corn rootworm is the most expensive insect pest of corn, and farmers across the planet battle it, and it just keeps adapting. Now the little bug that gnaws off roots and chews on ears has developed resistance to the first genetic modification made to corn to control it. The resistance just keeps spreading. That's correct. Uh, last uh, year, in cooperation with Joe Spencer, who's an entomologist in the Illinois Natural History Survey, uh, Joe uh, conducted some plant-based bioassays, uh, and recently we reported on those results uh, for Mercer and McDonough and Sangamon counties, and we were able to confirm that there are resistance issues to that CRY3 BB1 protein that you mentioned. That brings the total up uh, in terms of confirmed cases to resistance in Illinois to six counties. Henry, Whiteside, and LaSalle counties round out the confirmed list. Two more, uh, Livingston and Kankakee, may yet be added to that tally. However, more tests need to be run. Uh, farmers, in the meantime, are turning back to the old standby soil insecticides to protect the corn crop. This is happening in Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, and South Dakota. So we're seeing this, this planting time use of soil insecticides uh, increase pretty remarkably. Uh, and that's unfortunate in some respects because uh, in, in most cases, a lot of producers uh, have switched over to the pyramided BT hybrids. Uh, again, these are hybrids that are expressing not just one rootworm protein, but two proteins. And whether it's University of Illinois data or data coming out from other land grants, uh, we're pretty united in the fact that we don't believe that the use of a planting time soil insecticide with a pyramid is a good idea. Uh, there should be plenty of protection from the use of that pyramided BT hybrid. Here are some reasons not to add a soil insecticide to a pyramided BT corn hybrid at planting. It's unlikely to significantly improve root protection, unlikely to improve yields. It may hasten resistance development due to delaying adult emergence even more significantly and leading to non-random mating. And finally, it increases the risk to non-target organisms and some beneficial insects. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.